Hey there! Today I will show you my new soldering iron, which is a TS-100 from Banggood. To be honest, I'm really excited about this one, because I had to wait a long long time and I had some bad luck with soldering irons in the past. So, after ordering it back in November, I had to wait a couple of weeks for delivery, then I just found out that uh, saying that it can be used with any Norbook charger is a bit of an overstatement, to say the least. But you will see. So, let me show you the old unboxing video I made back in November and then let's see what can we do with it. It has this foam like material, so content seems to be intact. It turns out that you need a really small Allen key for this. And yeah, here we go. Now we need a power supply. So if you check the documentation already, then uh, hopefully you know that uh, you will need something like a notebook or laptop power supply for this. So I have one at hand. Let me try if that one will work out. No luck on the first try, so it means a modern Dell charger won't work. Oh well. Okay, okay, right now, if you think I acted like an idiot, I agree with you. Especially because Banggood lists all the specifications for the power supply on the page of the TS-100. I mean, look at that, everything is there. So take your time, check it out and uh, grab a matching power supply. If you don't know which one to get, then um, I have a suggestion for you. So this one was my personal choice. 24 watts, 3 amps, resulting in a total of 72 watts. And uh, it's also crazy cheap. It's adjustable, so even if you're not using it with the TS-100, you can use it for other purposes. And of course it has the matching connector. As you will see later on, it worked out for me pretty well and uh, in a previous video I've also done a quick unboxing for it. So feel free to check out that video as well. So it's time to fire at the TS-100. As you probably saw, Banggood states that with a 24 volts power supply it takes like 11 seconds to reach the 300 Celsius temperature. In my opinion, it's way faster than that. Which is a good thing, right? I also use it at uh, 350 and it takes like 2 seconds to adjust. So, so far it looks really good. So, how about some soldering and desoldering? Let's try it.
There's one thing I need to tell you about the tips. As you can see on the picture and you could see during the unboxing video, the tips are large and um, yeah, a bit pricey, especially compared to cheap soldering irons. Basically you can buy a cheap soldering iron for this price, which uh, sounds crazy, but believe me it's not. These tips are sturdy and heavy, heavy considered um, considering the size of the soldering iron and um, they have a lot of mass to store the heat which is important especially when you are doing desoldering because you keep touching cold metal and uh, solidified solder with the soldering iron and uh, if there's a lot of mass there uh, like a larger part or a blob of uh, solder then uh, without enough heat mass you will just have problems with disordering. Trust me, been there, done that. It's awful. So what I will do is just uh, order a few of these, especially now that they are discounted. Technically the discount period has ended, but Banggood has the habit of, of um, discounting stuff again and again, and of course uh, to extend the discount periods and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that I will be able to order these at a good price. And um, yeah, as you can see, there are different uh, tips meant for different soldering and desoldering jobs. So I'm really eager to try them. So it's time to give a verdict and time to tell you how did it feel like working for the first time with the TS-100. And enough to say, I'm in love. I love good tools, especially when I know that uh, those tools will be used a lot and I will definitely use this uh, soldering iron a lot. I mean, it's just so easy compared to my previous soldering irons. It heats up fast, it's, it's just easy to work with because uh, it's, it's small and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm running out of words here, but uh, really it, it has to be experienced. I mean. Uh, I used those cheap soldering irons and uh, I was about to give up on electronics saying that okay I will never learn properly solder and this time it's just working. To be honest I spent this afternoon desoldering and soldering a lot of things because uh, I have projects that were waiting and I have a big box of electronics that I plan to recycle and uh, strip components and so disorder components out of those and now it seems like I'm <laughs> this little thing opened up a lot of possibilities for me and uh, also there's a lot of things I haven't even tried I haven't uh, tried SMD soldering with it I haven't played around with the open source firmware I mean you know that thing has this thing has an open source firmware right there are custom firmwares and modifications and whatnot. I can uh, can't imagine, or I can only imagine, uh, what will I do with it. So I can tell you that you will see this soldering iron in my videos a lot, and hopefully it will help me accomplish some nice projects in the future. But anyway, till then, let's time to it's time to close this video. So hope to see you next time and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. See you around. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.